respawn quick uh, alignment of my contour yeah looking good let's go hey it's this off mike and i'm back again and this video today is not exactly an unboxing video it's not exactly a gameplay video it's not exactly a vlog it's not i tell you what it's a bit of everything but the main purpose of today's video is to give you a little news about what's going to be happening with this channel uh, this year and in the future and also about another channel that will be launched to do with my other hobbies I'll give you a bit of news about that and some more news about what airsoft products I will be unboxing in the future so what I thought I'd do instead of just have me in front of the camera in all my gear or just a photo I'll run some unseen gameplay footage well the majority of it is unseen uh, while I'm talking to you okay and then near the end you're gonna see this massive box but I'll explain more about that a little later in this video when you were in there yeah and someone shot you from up there was that you were you attacking or defending defending and I got right in the balls. I was defending an old. Oh, was you? I got around the corner and you started shooting at me. Like, oh, that See, I thought... <laughs> but well done, though. You got me in the, the family jewel, so yeah. I think that comes down to knowing the shot a bit better. Yeah. I think if I've gone up there, I could see down on it. Yeah. Yeah, so, what's happening with the Airsoft Mike YouTube channel for this year? Well, my channel started off being purely an unboxing channel. Promising the odd gameplay here and there. And I've done a few gameplay videos. I plan to travel around the country a bit more and do more gameplay videos so stay tuned for that more or less that's going to be more like next year uh, and a few later this year hopefully but I will always be doing these unboxings and dotted out throughout the year I'll be doing little giveaways okay now talking about giveaways my last giveaway was the biggest one yet to say it was a complete headache and stressful to run is an understatement. That horrible feeling I get when I know I can't give every single person a prize that entered is horrible. It's just how I am. If I was a multi, multi billionaire, I'd give every single one of you ear surprises. But I'm not. I'm just little old me, ear soft Mike, okay? <laughs> but anyway, news will be coming up soon on this channel about another giveaway so keep watching and if you're not subscribed hit that subscribe button if you like I'm not forcing you to but talking about subscribers oh my gosh I'm literally gaining hundreds of new subscribers every week I am so grateful I never take it for granted it is amazing those of you who were with me from the beginning knew that when I started out I just had a handful of subscribers and then literally a few weeks ago, literally, I would say a month or two or a few weeks ago, I was celebrating having, what, 50 odd thousand subscribers? I'm now on over 70,000 subscribers. And if I keep going at the rate at which it's going, I'm hoping by the end of this year, I hit the big 100,000. Maybe before the end of the year, I don't know. I'm hoping. It could slow down, who knows? But I'm just going to keep doing what I do. It's what I enjoy. I love Airsoft. As it stands right now, Airsoft is a legitimate, legal hobby and sport in the UK. Whether that changes or not, I don't know. There's certain things going through at the moment within government regarding Airsoft. So we're just going to keep an eye on that and see what happens there. Having said that, there's another channel that's going to come up soon because... Believe it or not, I've had certain hobbies before Airsoft, but I've never had a YouTube channel on them. And I think it's about time I started one, okay? So, as mentioned before in my previous YouTube video, I'm heavily into movie memorabilia, movie replicas, uh, model cars. I collect model cars. And when I say I collect model cars, I don't mean I have 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 model cars. I have loads of model cars to the point where I can't even have them on display anymore. And I'm not just talking about your little matchbox ones either. I'm talking your bigger ones as well. I'm into radio control helicopters. I've got 
quite a few of those from tiny little ones to huge massive ones <laughs> i've also got a drone i've got more than one drone actually i also collect all sorts of things to do with games video games and movies for example in my last video i showed you what one kind company sent out to me which i will be naming them when i launch my new channel they sent me a few swords okay none of these swords are sharp none of them are real as it were they are real in terms of their their steel they're made out of steel they're full-size replicas you hold them they feel good but i just display them on my wall they're not sharpened or anything okay perfectly legal they're fine I absolutely love collecting things like that from movies, which is, I suppose, what got me into Airsoft initially, because I realized with Airsoft, a lot of the Airsoft guns are exact replicas of the real things or things that you see used in movies. And then obviously that progressed into me doing more unboxings and actually doing gameplay. But when it comes to things like um, movie memorabilia, it's not just about weapons and stuff. It could be absolutely anything to do with it like figurines i've got loads of action figures and figurines and it's just endless i need help <laughs> but anyway yeah so this wonderful company that likes to send me swords they've done it again you know that picture i showed you of a massive box it has the biggest sword yet this thing is colossal now at the time of me unboxing the item again i didn't know what it was i thought it could have been a huge airsoft gun I'm in fact i was convinced because whenever i get packages wrapped in that black plastic clingy type film thing it's nearly always from an airsoft company so what i'm gonna say right now is that's my little update about what's happening with my channel for the rest of this year and next year and a little news on my new channel where there will be an announcement as to when that new channel will be launched but that's only for people into the stuff i've just mentioned if you're just into airsoft stick with me here because this is where it all happens okay airsoft will always be my first love so right so everybody who is just into airsoft thanks for watching and it's your time right now to stop this video to close that youtube app or watch a different video or close that browser because what I'm going to show you next is not Airsoft. So only the people that don't mind stuff to do with my other hobbies. And this is the last time this is going to happen on this channel, okay? From this moment onwards after this video, anything to do with anything that is not Airsoft will be in my new channel. This channel will be exclusively, as it always was before, Airsoft. But right now, I'm going to do an unboxing of that massive sword and all I'm gonna say now is if you're into your online gaming think of one of the biggest online games out there then think of a particular king in that particular online game then think of a particular beast of a sword in that online game <laughs> keep watching remember I didn't know what it was at the time of unboxing Okay, so those of you who are only into Airsoft and not interested in anything else I do, I think those people have all gone. So all I've got left now is you lot. Okay, <laughs> let's get this open. Okay, so another one of these mystery packages has arrived <laughs> at Airsoft Mike HQ. Now it's heavy, so I really am quite confident that this is a big airsoft gun or something. I must say, it's packaged very well. And it would have to be, because it's got some weight to this box. All right, let's just rip this open. Oh my gosh, another layer. <laughs> point I was like oh my gosh damn what the fuck 
What? This is the World of Warcraft Frostmourne Sword. Now after that initial shock, and now that I'm a little calmer, let's get it open. Oh, oh, oh! Oh my gosh! Let me just uh, put that right here. Oh my gosh! This thing is heavy. Oh, and there's a, a wall plaque. We'll show you the sword in a moment. Look at the size of this wall plaque to hang it on. It's huge. Look at that. This thing is big. And it needs to be big to be able to hang this monster up on the wall. <laughs> Would you look at this beast? Absolutely gorgeous. And just in case you're wondering, yes, it is a sort of like a prop or a, a wall hanger, a replica of that sword from World of Warcraft. It's to scale, allegedly. It's heavy as hell. And look. <laughs> at the detail on this. Again, it's not one of those expensive licensed um, replicas, but having said that, it's a nice piece. I mean, look at it. And although it's a wall hanger, can you see the detail there? Those of you who are familiar with uh, the Frostmourne, okay, although it's a wall hanger, it's actually detailed on the other side also. So normally wall hangers, you'd expect it not to have anything of any note behind it. All the detail will be in the front. But on this bad boy, look. Awesome. I am so hyped about this. But again, this is all to do with my other hobby. And as I've mentioned before, there will be a new channel launching soon. No, it won't be called this off mic anything. And it's all to do with my collections, things that I like to collect, like model cars, video game memorabilia, replicas, like this, this is awesome. And don't worry, these are not sharp. This is very much a replica or a piece of memorabilia from that world famous World of Warcraft game. It's not a live blade. As you can see, I can freely run my hand down the blade and I'm not cut. And if you look here at this part of the sword, that looks pretty sharp here. But again, it's made to look sharp. It is all steel and metal, but look. Yes, I'm wearing gloves, but these are no special type of gloves. They're just normal, look, 5'11 gloves. And I'm not being cut. Let me just prove it. Running my hand across that part of the blade, even on the tip, yes, it's a little sharp, a little pokey sharp, <laughs> but uh, a needle would be way more sharper than this, okay? So it's not cutting me. And again, here's the blade running my hand. Let me just put it here, look. This is a very heavy sword and I'm resting it right there on my hand, wiggling it about. I'll even draw the sword back. Don't try this at home because you may just get a real live blade. Not really, but anyway, look. And I'm not cut, it's all good. It's just a beautiful replica. This is awesome. Whosoever takes up this blade shall wield power eternal. Just as the blade rends flesh, so must power scar the spirit.